Chris Theroux here from Seedleaf, and this is part three of our Cutting Microgreens experiment series. And today we're going to cut and look at our sunflower shoots. Our peas need a few more days, so let's start here. Now, one of the most important things when you're doing an experiment or a trial is to know what you want to do and to know what you want to achieve. So as I've talked about, what I want to do is to compare the ends of different uh, cuts or ends of the uh, product with uh, different uh, cuts from different knives and different scissors. Now I'm going to take some pictures of the ends of these today, but I'm also going to put them into long-term storage and see what happens over time. Because it, if, it doesn't matter what they look like today if they all keep the same, right? So even though I say adamantly use a sharp knife, if it turns out cutting with scissors is faster and they keep just as well, even though the ends look all torn up, well then there's not much of a case for uh, cutting with a very sharp knife, is there? So this is a trial I've done before, and this one's just a little more detailed and elaborate. So key, uh, key thing also is to have everything ready to go. So I've obviously got my crop here ready to cut. Uh, I've got my instruments for, for uh, cutting here. I've got my sharpener. I've got bags for each of the individual uh, cuts that I'm doing so they can keep separated. And then I've got my USB microscope set up here because this is what I'm going to take pictures of the ends with. I've got a Sharpie here because you should always have a Sharpie. Uh, and then I've got a little notepad here if I want to make notes. And I've also got my laptop open here. So I've got just about everything I need. I may need to grab something else, but this is a pretty simple experiment. Now, another aspect about experiments is you want to do replicates. I mean, if you do something in one tray, well, it's hard to know if there was an anomaly there. So, but the fact that we're cutting many, many different uh, 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 individual plants here acts like a replicate in a way. So in this case, because we're doing lots of cuts and we're putting lots into the fridge for storage, we do have actual uh, replication. Okay, so first things first. So another thing here I'll mention is I've got a water bath here. And the reason I'm doing this is because my experience with sunflower is they really need a water bath cooling down after harvest. I've tried different methods of harvesting without the water bath and the other methods result in a product that just does not store very well. So this, this cooling right after harvest is usually quite important. It may not come into play, say, if you can put your uh, crop into a, a walk-in cooler for an hour or longer before harvest, but in our case, we're gonna do a water bath. So here we have four different cutting methods, but we're gonna have eight different results because we're gonna do one of each in the water bath and then one of each without the water bath. So that's gonna be a, 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 something we can compare as well to see how that water bath in the case of sunflower makes a difference as well. This is important because there's lots of lots of factors to consider. And a lot of stuff we're not looking at is the time of year we're growing the crop, how much light in terms of hours and intensity, the quality of light, the lumens, the, uh, the light color, um, the crop maturity. I mean, there's so many things that could change the outcome of this experiment. So this is just giving us an indicator that we can work with but we want to keep in mind that this may, there may be things that are, uh, we're not considering that could affect results in other situations. Okay, so let's get at it. First bag here, scissors with water bath. Okay, so we've done all our cuttings now, two with the sharp knife, the dull knife, which was not so dull after all. Um, you know, I like to keep my knife sharp. Uh, a pair of just regular scissors and a pair of kitchen shears. I took three photos of each cut, so I have 24 photos. Eight times three, 24, uh, which I will upload and then can share those in a post so we can take a look at the different photos. And now the, the key thing here is now how they store, if we're seeing some difference in storability because of these different cuts and uh, also because of the water bath. So I'm gonna check on those on, I think in five days and 10 days is what I'm gonna do. Even though we often think about a week, you know, uh, we think of uh, a week as our sort of best before, 
Uh, but five days gets us leading up to that week and then 10 days gets us past that week. So I think it's good. I tend to get curious, so I might take a look on day seven as well, but it's a lot of work getting this all done. This is about 40 minutes worth of uh, prep and, and whatnot. So, so it's a lot to do with the photos, but we do want to take another round of photos to take a look at these. And then even after that, I'll, I'll let them sit in the fridge and see if we do start to see some differences there. In my opinion, I know if you're getting 10 days storage on something, that's pretty good. So anything after that is definitely a bonus. But if we do find, you know, that everything else is holding up well, and then we are getting differences in the ends of the stem because of our cuts, well, that's a good case for, for picking a particular method to extend our storage life. So yeah, that was our cutting. Now we'll, I'll get some pictures posted and then we will come back and take a look in five days at our first uh, storage pictures. And in a day or two, we'll also be doing this again with our pea shoots. So I don't need to show you all this process again. It's gonna be exactly the same, but pea is a very different crop to sunflower. It's definitely more fibrous, has a bit of a different feel to it. So I'll be curious to see how it comes out in the photos. So hopefully that was not too boring watching me just cut a bunch of shit. But uh, part of that was to, for you to see just the, the number of steps you do go through to do a good experiment. And uh, there's many more things I could have done, but I think that will be adequate for our purposes. So we'll see you on our next video soon.